Oklahoma's own News 9 starts now. Welcome to News 9 at 10. I'm Sylvia Corkill. Tonight, Governor Stitt calling for the resignations of several McCurtain County employees to include the county sheriff. This after secret recordings allegedly captured them talking about beating, killing, and burying two newspaper reporters in Ida Bell. Those conversations shared with News 9. The reporter telling our Dan Stein he fears for his life. The reporter told me he wanted to prove that county officials were holding secret meetings, so he left his recording device behind and ended up with more than he expected. I was breathless. I just, I, I, I couldn't believe it. McCurtain Gazette reporter and publisher Bruce Willingham said he proved his case on secret meetings, but it's what he heard on the March 6 recordings that are making headlines. I was expecting it, you know, chitter chatter stuff about county business and stuff and <laughs> and that's how it started, and then it got down to the um, extremely serious stuff. Willingham says county officials began talking about beating and killing him and his son, also a Gazette reporter, Chris Willingham. He claims on those recordings are Commissioners Mark Jennings and Robert Beck, along with Sheriff Kevin Clarity and Alicia Manning with the Sheriff's Department. I've known two or three hit men that were very quiet guys. Yeah. And would cut no mercy. Yeah. In Louisiana, because it was all mafia around yeah. here. The old saying is, you know, well, it comes around, goes around it. It will. I told you it will. Yeah. Well, I know where two big deep holes are here in Asia. I got an escalator. Well, these are our three dug. Willingham believes he's being targeted about unfavorable stories about the sheriff's department, including one from last year when Eagle Town residents hogtied a man who was caught burglarizing a city business. McCurtain County deputies responded and allegedly tased the man while hogtied. The man died. We asked some questions about that. They refused to give us any records at all initially. We've now gotten everything we've asked for, uh, but we had to file a lawsuit to get it. Terrible. Curb of Fog County. Ida Bell Mayor Craig Young says as a citizen, he will ask for the elected officials involved to resign. That's your protector, who is the sheriff of our county, who should be protecting folks and caring about human lives. We tried to call Sheriff Clarity, but he did not answer. However, Commissioner Mark Jennings did. I don't know. I'm not going to make any comment, and that's all I've got to say. When you get officials talking about the burnt people and hanging people and digging holes and and all that kind of stuff. It's, 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 it is what it is, it's hate. We're told those files have been turned over to the FBI. Meanwhile, the next county commissioner's meeting is set for tomorrow and will be there. In McCurtain County, Deanne Stein for Oklahoma Zone. All right, Dan, thank you. And in a statement tonight, the governor saying, in part, I am both appalled and disheartened to hear of the horrid comments made by officials in McCurtain County. There is simply no place for such hateful rhetoric in the state of Oklahoma. He's now calling for OSBI to investigate. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.